I can concatenate it with a particular field coming from dynamics table behind the scene. And simply I can come here and identify myself or an amount or let's say the ledger ID of this specific journal. These are the lines obviously, but for the table itself, you can go with the journal name and insert it. And as you see this percentage, table name and field name percentage, it actually gives you the capability to be replacing its value and concatenating it with this message. And I could say the action is complete, the review maybe, approve, reject, maybe delegate it to somebody else as we discussed early on as a user option, etc. So as soon as I close it, you're done with the errors and you should have some sort of a best practice in order to identify if you want to send an email, what would be the email ID associated with, would you like to have a submission instructions? Again, you could associate a placeholder and similar to previous form, you could translate it to a different language because the recipient may be speaking a different language in the international world. When I close it, unfortunately due to a little cosmetic bug, it gets disappeared, but it's not. You just have to click back on the taskbar and see this. So now I can save and close this and give it a note. I call it GTL demo workflow and I click OK. Now here it gives me a choice to activate it and save it or don't activate it and save it. I click OK and it versionizes this. This gets closed out immediately as soon as it gets deployed to the dynamics and the form gets closed and you can close this. When I refresh this, you see this specific workflow has been created for SRHQ. And again, you can view it by going through the same process and change it the way you want.